Hello friends, welcome to my channel Sushant Chespais. Today we are at the next topic that is the knight versus pawns and we are about to start with knight and games very soon. It's very important to know some positions related to knight versus pawns before we enter knight and games. We will see some properties of the king and the knight in this lesson. So we will take case of cornered kings first. Here we see that knight is playing against two pawns. The black king is able to protect its pawns but the king itself is not well placed. It is in the corner and the white king has managed to squeeze it. This position is actually black to play. We will try to discuss both <coughs> white to play and black to play. If it is white to play, white wins very easily. White can just go nf6 when after g5, knight g4 check, king h1 and white just wastes the, wastes the move with king f1 and now pawn has to go to h2 after h2, knight f2 and checkmate. After knight f6, king h1 is a better try, still knight g4 and now if g5 then again king f1 and we note that again we force the pawn to move to h2 after h2 similarly white just goes kf1 now the only move is g5 we see the case of semi stalemate again and next move will be knight f2 mate things look far more complicated with black to play but i must tell you that here also white manages to win but with more number of moves let's say Black goes with the move G5 or KH1. There are only two moves. After G5, Knight of 6, KH1, we see that we are heading towards a similar position after Knight G4. But now we don't have King F1 already. So after H2, we will not be able to mate instantly. But White here maneuvers the knight to other square. We will free the black pawn and let it move. So after knight e3, g4, knight f1 and we see that there is nothing other than g3. So after g3, knight g3, checkmates. Although moves are more, white manages to win nevertheless. Let's look at the main variation now. King h1. With king h1, Black is keeping both options open, either to go back KH2 or play H2. White goes NF6 again, G5 will allow Knight G4 and here black can play KH2 again. When it looks slightly different but we will make out soon, after Knight G4, King H1, what should white play? Of course white has to play the move. King F1. Now we are keeping the threat if H2 then Knight F2 mates. So the King can only waste the move. So we force the pawn to go to G5. After G5, King F2. We reach the same position now, forcing Black to play H2, and now the Knight goes to E3. We reach the position which we saw before. Now G4 and King F1. So the king had to waste couple of moves so that the black couldn't escape and we finished off the black moves. After the only move g3, knight g3 and checkmate. Such positions are very common whenever we deal with knight versus pawns especially when one of them is rook pawn. I hope you are finding these positions useful. Do like, share and subscribe the channel. Thanks for your time.